right, guys, welcome to another Mo's World. So today has already been busy. Got up this morning, went to the gym, got a good workout. I met anybody like her, like her, so I had to go ahead and wife her. Now, had a good lunch, a good healthy lunch. Y'all know I'm on my health kick, so I have to insert a picture of my lunch. I'm going to make a HelloFresh a little bit later, so I will have that in this uh, video as well. But today, what I need to do is organize my closet. Well, really declutter my closets. Um, I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to be getting rid of clothes, purses, shoes. I just need to get rid of a lot of stuff that I haven't worn. If I hadn't worn it in a year, then I probably don't need it. So um, that's what... I'm gonna do at the beginning of this video and then we'll do our Hello Fresh later. So just thought it'll be good to bring you guys along with my declutter the closet. All right, so I'm gonna start with this closet. Do not judge me because I'm showing you the real deal. So this is the closet I'm gonna start with. It's a complete mess, but that is part of the reason that we need to declutter and clean up and get rid of some stuff. So, no need to delay. Oh my goodness, I'm dreading this. Well, let's go okay, though. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is just go through everything. And if I don't wear it, if I have not worn it in, I'm going to say six months. Even if I like it, if I haven't worn it in six months, then I'm going to get rid of it because six months mean I don't like it that much. I, apparently, you know, I like stuff more than that. So, so the first step, I'm going to go through everything and get rid of it. If I have not worn it in six months, I'll make a pile and then I'll go back and organize like shirts, pants, all that stuff. So let the purging process begin. I'm going to put me on some music and it'll go by quickly. It'll go by quickly. A little bit of worship music. It's all good. Here's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. All right. So here is the 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 getting ready rid of clothes part i haven't organized but it looks so much better already so i was able to get rid of tons of clothes like look at all the space left in there um so yeah here is my pile here crazy right so yeah all of those are going to i guess friends and family if they want them and this is looking better so what I'm going to do is now go to my other closet and get rid of things and then I'll organize both of them. I don't know if that's happening today, but at least we're getting rid of stuff today. Okay, yikes. This is closet number two that we're going to work on. So yeah, let's see what we can do in here. I'm all done. Looks so much better. I can actually walk in here now. The entire bottom is empty, just about. So that's good. I really got a lot rid of a lot of clothes. It looks so much better. So um, I think that was pretty successful. All right. So enough with clothes right now. It is time to make some dinner. So we are doing the ancho barbecue sloppy joes with pickle slices and oven gold potatoes today. So let's get crack a lacking. All right, so what we got? What's well, step one? Let's turn this bad boy over. So step one is we're going to roast the potatoes. Adjust rack to top position and preheat oven at 450. Wash and dry produce. Oh, we got something on there. Okay. Wash and dry produce, slice potatoes into one-fourth. Um, inch thick rounds tossed on a baking sheet with a with a large drizzle of oil, fry seasoning, salt, and pepper. 
roast on top rack until lightly brown and tender. So 18 to 20 minutes. So let's get these potatoes washed and sliced. Lift it up. Here's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. Here's my worship. All of my, all of my worship. Father, receive my receive my worship. veggie wash is for fruits and vegetables and um, it safe it safely removes waxes chemicals and soil it says safe removal of waxes chemicals and soils and this just tells you a little bit more about it laboratory tested proven to remove unwanted residues and significantly better than water rinsing alone of course and then it gives you instructions on how to use it so this is what I use to wash the potatoes all right, so I have sliced the potatoes and I'm going to go ahead and get a baking dish to put them on and then put the seasonings and everything. Let me go ahead and preheat the oven. What does it say? Does it say? Um, preheat oven. No, I saw it on there. Let me look. 450. So let's put it on 450 and get these in the oven. Alright, so the next step looks like it is while the potatoes are roasting, half and peel and dice the onion um, and the half buns, and then half the buns, excuse me. In a small bowl, bowl, combine barbecue sauce, ketchup, chili powder, stock concentrate, half the cornstarch, and one tablespoon of water. Um, so let's do that. Drizzle of oil in a large pan over medium heat. Add onion and add onion, cook, stirring until soft in four to five minutes, and then we're going to add the beef. Season with, with salt and pepper, cook, bringing up meat into pieces, breaking up meat into pieces until brown for three to five minutes. So basically, we're going to cook the onion and then brown the beef. barbecue sauce mixture to the pan with the beef we're going to cook it stirring until sauce has thickened and the beef is cooked thoroughly for two to three minutes 
taste and season with salt and pepper, turn off the heat. And then we're gonna toast the buns. Um, while filling, while the filling cooks, toast the buns until golden, and then fill the buns with as much beef filling. Um, slice pickles, divide the sloppy joes between the plates and serve with the potato round. So let's finish this up and I'll show you the finished product. All right, it is all done. So it looks delicious, the potatoes as well as the sloppy joe. Um, so I'm gonna give it a taste and see what we all right, so let's start with the sloppy joe. Sorry, my hands in the way. Let's see what we got here. Mmm. That is really good. Really good flavor. The sauce is great. Okay. Sloppy Joe, a 10. Let's see about the potatoes. Potatoes are pretty good too. I say potatoes a seven. So um, yeah, let's see what Hubby thinks. All right, so Hubby says that the Sloppy Joes are really, really good. He said that's probably one of the best sloppy joes he's tasted, which I don't even know how to take that because what about mine? But anyway, um, yeah, so that's good. And he don't like potatoes, so he didn't try the potatoes, but this is my favorite um, HelloFresh meal so far. And I will definitely be ordering this one again. Thanks for watching.